Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. So if any of you guys follow me on any of my other social medias, you'll know that I recently got back from the Download Festival pilot. For those of you that don't know, Download Festival is the biggest legendary rock festival here in the UK. And the Download pilot was basically the first festival in the UK to go ahead after this 18 months of lockdown. So it was basically like to test the waters to see if live music could go back to normal and it could be a success with no drastic increase in COVID rates or anything like that. So as this was quite a big moment in UK live music history, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along to see what it's like being back in the festival scene after being stuck inside with no social interaction except for my cat for a year and a half. Now I'm definitely not the best vlogger so I'm going to be jumping in and out here to give you guys a little bit of context to some of the clips but we you know had an amazing time, we chatted and interviewed to some of the acts which was really cool and just generally got way too drunk. <laughs> But without further ado, come along with me to Download Festival. Take my hands, come, come. Hello everyone, so it is Download Day and as you can see, it is of course in true download fashion, absolutely pissing down with rain. So it's not called Drownload for nothing. And Looney's here, Looney, are you excited? Do you wish you could go? Wow, you look so white, you look like a little angel. So it's gonna be a little bit weird because obviously we're so used to the social distancing and all of the COVID precautions. And this is the download pilot. So it's basically kind of testing out what festivals are gonna be like for opening them all up in the UK. So there's a reduced capacity, there is a reduced capacity of about 10,000 people, I think. And you don't have to wear masks when you're on site. We had to take a COVID test yesterday which luckily were all negative and upload them and then we have to take one after as well and basically they're gonna track you know hopefully there'll be no cases and um you know live music can start to go ahead again so yeah i'm very excited it's really really cool to be like a part of this we're gonna be chatting to a few of the people that are playing there um it's friday today and frank carter and the rattlesnakes are headlining um neck deep is there sleep token, there's a whole bunch of people that I wanna see, so that'll be really, really cool. And we're just gonna have to bear the rain, embrace it, and have a good time. We got the luxury VIP treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is the wind like interfering? Oh, it's not really. cold. I won't be able to. I don't really want to leave this tent for a while, so. No. We'll stay here all day. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. So we have made it to download. It is freezing. My fingers are already feeling like they need to fall off. So <laughs> thank God I'm not playing guitar here because I wouldn't be able to. This is the guest area at downloads. Little tour, little spin. You don't have to duck. <laughs> Just because I ain't got any ND filters, wow. all you saw was white. Oh, <laughs> just, just white it's as heaven. It's snowing, it's snowing. Yes, it's not very exciting. We've walked around a little bit, we haven't really been around too much, but it's really weird because it's a lot smaller, like you can even see the camping. Usually you have to walk like an hour to get from your tent to the to the download park, it's from like a racetrack, so you have to walk around the racetrack. But the camping's literally just there, so that's how small it is. Look, oh, you probably can't see. Should we sit? Oh my god, it's fucking cold. Well, that was a good live music experience. Let's go home. There is a festival! Mac and cheese. 
That mac and cheese van is the main reason I even go to festivals. It is so good. So we saw a couple of bands. It was really, really nice to see everyone like watching, smiling, and just having a good time again. But honestly, this mac and cheese is where it's at. Love live music, love bands, but like this food. That's all I want to do is just go to every single like food truck and just eat all the food. That's all I want to do. So I'm currently hiding in the toilet to avoid interacting socially with anyone. Yeah, if you didn't know, I'm socially awkward. I just need time to recharge. There's so much talking. So I'm hiding out in the toilet until everyone goes away. And that is my festival experience. That was day one of the festival. And as you can tell at the start, the vibes were a little bit off, um, mainly because in true British fashion, it was absolutely pissing it down and freezing cold the whole day. But I also did find there was a little bit of hesitation from everyone being around so many people again. I guess going from like two meters social distancing and wearing masks all the time to suddenly being in a massive crowd of 10,000 people with you know no PPE and no social distancing or anything like that. And also just having to remember how to socialize with everyone was a little bit overwhelming for me. But um, we didn't see too many acts that day as we did leave early because we were absolutely soaked. And as you can tell, I decided to wear the skimpiest outfit I possibly could. So uh, <laughs> I was freezing cold and Chris had to give me all of his clothes. So yeah, we left about eight o'clock or something. But the acts that we did see were absolutely amazing, genuinely. And it was so nice to see like the joy and the passion of everyone, like the artists and the crowd all just come together again and just be one and enjoy that live music. And this was only heightened on day two. Hey guys, so it is day two of download and it's not raining so that's a good sign and we're ready to head off we've had our breakfast fuel and we're ready to go how do you feel Lins? Yeah. enter shikari <laughs> so annoying. enter shikari are headlining today and who else is playing yonika while she sleeps is playing I forget anyone else, but um, yeah, there's some good people on today, so. Looney, you want to Cause, play some Because you need to be supporting music, not being <laughs> sneaky poo. Hey guys, so we are here at day two of download. It is a Saturday. The vibes are much better today because it is not pissing down with rain. So we're going to show you around a little bit. So download is usually like absolutely massive, but you can actually see where everyone's camping and stuff up there because it's reduced capacity. So it's only 10,000 people this year instead of like, is it 100,000 usually? 80,000 or something. So yeah, it's pretty drastic. You can see like there's, well, there's no one playing. But like <laughs> so this is the stage two. This is where we should be playing. Maybe next year. It's about to get loud. It's a pole there. <laughs> so what you can see, if you look along here, you can literally see the whole festival just from this spot. an ice cream van.
so as the day went on, I definitely indulged in a bit of liquid confidence, if you know what I mean. However, I what I forgot was that my management had actually arranged for me to do a bunch of interviews that day with some of the artists that I absolutely love. So this led to a series of very chaotic, not safe for work interviews that are just downright too embarrassing for me to put on YouTube. So here's a little sneak peek for you. I can't form a full sentence, so <laughs> this interview is going to be painful at best. <laughs> oh, we just slept. <laughs> I I at least had my clothes on, I mean. Oh no, you were butt naked. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a fucking thing in the front I want to be a fucking thing in the front Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? I'm McRue from Enter Shikari. Wow. This is not COVID friendly. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Everything's about me. It's all about me. <laughs> you don't even need to be here actually. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Like, I do that was quite I do good. Hands That fucking Ralph, Ren Shikari. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be me. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to see. I need some tea and gravy for chips. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you can probably stop filming now. I'm an awkward human being. So, uh, yeah, if you would like to see the full interviews, I will be uploading them to uh, IGTV at some point, so make sure you're following me on Instagram and keep an eye out there, but just prepare to see a very drunk, embarrassing Sophie. I still lie awake at night thinking about some of the cringy moments in those interviews. Now, after this actually rather enjoyable train wreck, um, we actually managed to go out and fully immerse ourselves in the live music. And I have to say, the vibes were immaculate. There was so much passion, energy, respect and love for everyone around each other. Enter Shikari dedicated this song to NHS workers, which was a really, really beautiful moment. And it just overall really made me realise how much the world needs live music and how much power it can truly have. Livestream gigs are great and they really helped us get through lockdown and everything, but they just don't compare to the real thing and the real experience. And it's really easy to forget that when you haven't been involved in it for so long. And things only got better on day three. Hello, welcome to day three of the download vlog. Um, we had an amazing time yesterday. The vibes were really, really good. We um, stayed right till the end, which I didn't think was gonna happen, but yeah, we, um, watched Enter Shikari, they were absolutely amazing and just chatted to loads of really, really nice people, met some really lovely people and there was just like, yeah, good spirits all around, a really good community and it felt really nice to be back in that environment again, so. I'm still really drunk. Yeah, me too. We did get very drunk last night, that's why I didn't film when I got home because um, my head was in the toilet for a little bit, so. <laughs> But yeah, very excited for today. Not feeling too bad, not too hungover today. So we're gonna hit it hard. We'll see you over there. Hello guys, welcome to the backstage area of Download Festival 2021. This is all the band's cabins and everything. Very bouge. They have endless supplies of grapes and crisps in there. It's very exciting, frankly. And the toilets are a lot nicer than they are out there. So, um, they're living it up, <laughs> and we're taking full advantage. <laughs> this song is dedicated to all the people who've been through so much shit in the last 18 months, man. Some of us have lost family members, yeah? Some of us have lost fucking friends. But today we're gonna dance for those we have lost! Woo! Let me see your horns down low. This song is called Doom Chicken on 
talk. Why else would you come to a festival other than this? These are both for me, Chris. I don't know what you're going to order, but like, that's cool. The map shack is the one. Uh, excuse me, you have your own mac and cheese right there. Why are you nicking mine? You got all the grossy bits. Hey guys, so I've reached the point in a day where I uh, am lagging and my tongue hurts. I feel like I've got tongue cramp. Do any of you guys get tongue cramp? Let me know because I get tongue cramp all the time and it's painful. If I talk too much, I feel like I'm just not used to like social interaction. So when I talk too much, I get tongue cramp and that's what I got now. So I'm just walking around like with my tongue out because um, pain. So that's my life right now. How are you guys doing? <laughs> And that was my full download experience. I really, really do feel so honored to have been a part of it. I don't know, maybe that sounds cheesy, but like, I don't know, it was just such a nice moment and I really think it made me realize how important live music is in the world. And um, yeah, it just made me feel very wholesome and happy inside, nice and warm and snuggly inside. Even though it was freezing cold and I was an actual ice block on the outside. But, you know, I just want to say thank you to everyone that made this possible. Thank you so much to the artists for playing. Thank you for all the festival management for putting it all together. Thank you for, to Andy Copping for, you know, creating Download and putting it on. And everyone who worked there, all of the food vendors and the stagehands and the security. And the people in the car park who were stuck there in the rain, telling people where to park. Thank you to everyone. It was such an amazing experience and I cannot wait for more festivals to open up and for the big ass download to be back next year and hopefully we'll be playing it we did get andy on film saying that um i should play next year i'd, I'd love you to come and play let's make that yeah. happen so fingers crossed and yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you comment down below, like this video so I know that you like it, and subscribe and all that other stuff that YouTubers say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.